and uh hello hello everyone welcome back to the i almost said ps2 gauntlet or just one more level podcast or rather but uh we're not doing the either one of those today technically we're just playing a game man i mean it is a ps2 game it is one that was uh technically voted on to be played although it didn't get very many votes but that's the way the rng gods picked it so let's fucking go hopefully we'll be finishing it up today hopefully why he deserved one he showed her everything from gadgets to gadgets a graph a pie chart and a pie to go with it he showed her numbers statistics flying gadgets and widgets he even showed her a couple of midgets. But the fairy godmother told him ogres aren't allowed to have happily ever afters. And so, her answer was... Racist bastard. No! And now, ogre, you must go. Hey guys, I got my potion! Well, apparently ogres don't get happily ever afters. We should just go in there and take it. I know where the potions are. Follow! I don't know if it's my memory deceiving me or what, but suddenly this game looks a bit better than I remember. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm just misremembering how it looked last time, but whenever it was just like up close on Donkey and Shrek there and whatnot, and even like Puss in Boots, this is the same game, right? <laughs> I didn't like, I didn't like fuck it up and put in the wrong disc here. No, I'm pretty sure this is the same game. It, I mean, I, I don't, okay. To be fair, I don't remember it looking, like, ugly or anything like that. I just, uh, don't remember it looking this decent either. Maybe because we're, like, in a small area, it's a little more high fidelity than the other ones or something? I'm really just spitballing. I have no idea. I'm sure my memory just deceives me, honestly. Oh man, these guys kind of do some damage, don't they? We got hit only a couple of times, and we've already lost like, oh, like a quarter of our health. It's not that much at the end of the day, but it's some. What kind of potion was Red here for again? I'm assuming it had something to do with her grandmother, but uh, I don't remember. I'm just trying to like, what would she need? I mean, I guess everybody would like a happily ever after potion, though, would they not? Who wouldn't want to live a happily ever after? You know what I mean? Like, if all you had to do was drink a drink a little bottle of something, something for that to happen, why wouldn't you do so? Oh, also, before I forget, the game uh, Seek and Destroy, the one that we randomly rolled on for us to add to the collection next, next uh, didn't meet its goal a couple streams ago. I picked it up today. While well, I I purchased it today, it hasn't arrived yet, obviously. So I went ahead and switched the goal on over to the next one, NCAA Football 2010, the most exciting of PS2 games, obviously. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be giving us like a tutorial on how to use this, but I'm assuming we can just like sit it down in the lasers or something. Oh, right there. There's a there's literally a place to sit it. It's eighteen dollars. It's fifteen dollars. Yeah. $15, but uh, I added $3 for shipping. So, also, welcome, Jogobo. I was kind of surprised, too, honestly, that a football game of everything was uh, that much money. I'm assuming because, you know, it didn't come out until 2009, 2010, somewhere right around there. So, because it was released so late, they probably didn't print and or sell all that many copies of it, is my guess. You know, like, it's just a little bit of a rare release in general. That's the only reason I can think of for it being so expensive. Unless it was just a really good game. But I doubt that. Especially on the PS2, you know. Maybe the PS3 version was decent. But, I mean, I guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> now, that is for a complete inbox copy, though. That's, uh, whenever I, I do the goals, that's what I put down for. Is a complete inbox. I'm sure... I don't remember. I just looked it up, but I don't remember what the price was for a loose disc. I'm, I'm sure it was uh, at least a few dollars less expensive. Oh, and in case uh, anyone didn't know, any money, like say, because I'm trying to raise $18 for it, let's say I find it with uh, free shipping or, you know, I find it for significantly cheaper or something like that in a decent condition, I do just roll over whatever 
to the next one. That's why there's already $2.50 on NCAA Football 2010. Because I set the goal for the last game at $10. Because uh, it was like... I think it was like $6... $7. I don't, I don't remember exactly how much it was when I looked it up. But anyways, and then I added a few dollars for shipping, and I got it with uh, free shipping. seven fifty dollars after tax with free shipping. I'll just roll that on over there to the next one. I don't want any of the goal money to go to waste. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for something just a wee bit more exciting in this section. It's uh, kind of slow. We're just... <laughs> Picking up these orbs and throwing them down. Uh, can we not just like pick up this one now and then move it over here? I don't know if this is the proper way to do it, but I imagine it'll work, right? Dope. Pick up the gear, throw it in the vault, and I'm assuming that's where the potions will be. Or do we need more gears? No, that's it. Okay. Some of those gears look like they're hidden in the background or something like that. Like, they're not actually gears. Okay. <laughs> the little mini game section. What do we got going on this time? Um, okay, we just got to jump back and forth. Is it possible for me to miss these jumps, or is it, like, grid-based? Okay, yeah, no, you can miss those jumps. <laughs> just jump right into this. Spikes. Uh, we also apparently can't walk off the front. So what are we trying to do here? Are we throwing apples at her? That didn't seem to do anything. Are we too far away to throw apples at her? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> um, okay. Apples aren't doing shit. We can just keep dodging the attacks over and over again. But there's got to be, like, some way to take her out, right? Surely just dodging forever isn't the answer. What the hell are we doing? Yeah, that did no damage to her at all, the apple. Oh, wait, it is doing damage. It's barely doing any damage. Oh, this is fucking lame. <laughs> Hopefully, now that we're in, like, state... Oh, God, I just killed myself. Hopefully, like, as we continue, we start to do more damage to her or something, because... Oh, my God, just... Yeah, the first two apples, like, don't even hurt her that we hit her with. Then she gets... The shield. Okay, the shield goes away. And then jump, and then throw, and then jump, and then throw, and jump. Oh, God, now there's boxes, too. Okay, well, it definitely gets a bit more complicated. Can we just jump over the boxes? We can. Kind of. We're dead. <laughs> I, I was thinking we would finish this today. I'm still hoping that we can. But we might be stuck here for a moment. Okay, shoot. Thank you. Throw. Shoot. Throw. Let her do her thing. I think, honestly, this would be a lot more enjoyable if it was, like, one of those things where you're... Like, I don't know if anyone out there has ever played Audio Surf, but where, like... You just press left or right to jump from track to track. Like, actually being able to fall in the middle here is a little bit annoying, honestly. Oh, God. We're so close, dude. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We've hardly taken any damage. Eh, don't jump in the spikes. 
Come on, just kill her. Just kill her. One more, surely. Thank you. Thank Good fuck, job. dude. But she'll be back, you know. And usually the coming back is followed by the evil spell casting, which is only fun if you want to spend the rest of your life a toilet brush. You might want to get back and help Shrek. Who doesn't want to spend the rest of their life as a toilet brush? Imagine that's got to be someone's kink out there, man. <laughs> I'm not here to kink shame. <laughs> Just, it's fucking weird. Metal Gear Solid 2, let's go, dude. I imagine that, uh... Well, I don't think anyone's voted on any other meme games, at the very least, like Shrek 2. So whatever we play next, I'm assuming will be something that's, uh... You know, a little bit more up our alley. Although, again, like I've said before, this actually isn't terrible. I don't want to give people the wrong impression here. I am enjoying Shrek 2. It's just, uh... I don't know, a little basic, I guess? But it's not nearly as bad as some of the other movie cartoon games that we've played. Okay, I'm assuming I have to take Sh Donkey up there so that he can break that thing. And then we'll put Donkey here. Grab you. This would be much better with multiple players so that we could move people around independently, or at the same time, rather. Go back to Shrek. Get him on the next platform. Can he walk around Donkey? Yes, thank God. Okay, Donkey, get on that one. Shrek, go up. No, don't go off. Oh my God, I hate everything. Oh, shit, and then we gotta get Puss all the way up here? Does this, like, putting this here, does that activate the elevators automatically or something? That would be helpful. I'm assuming no, since there's more buttons all the way up here. Alright, Puss. Get on there. Red over here. Puss, run around. Donkey, get off. See, this is just tedious. Doing it this way. I understand they probably were thinking like, yeah, you're playing with four people with a multi-tap or some shit, right? And like, in that case, this wouldn't be so bad. Everyone's doing their own thing here, but switching back and forth between all of these characters doing this shit? Kinda lame, dude. No, Shrek, stay on it. Grab puss. Okay. Jump on the rope. Go around, get the other rope. Why is the happy, happily ever after potion clear at the top? Why couldn't it just be at the bottom? Is this like a vault within a vault or something? You're all back together. Now I can turn you all into rancid rump roast. I will defend us from this evil witch. Kitty, she'll take five of your lives. Let's get out of here. It's just a chase section? Oh god, yeah, okay. Oh god, can we switch characters? Yeah. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> it's all up to you, puss. Everyone else is dead. <laughs> uh, no, get off the stuff. Why? <laughs> Every time we touch a box or anything, we get like frozen in place for so long. No! Go, go, go. Okay. We're fine. I thought for sure we were fucked there, dude, when we hit that last box. Okay. We're good. Yes. Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, surely the fairy godmother can't work a door in her own castle? Is this a castle? What are these dudes? They're like... Are they dwarves? Is that what they're meant to be? I mean, I get what they're doing. Like, they're the potion makers or whatever, but... I think I get your point. Why are they so, like, tiny and round? All of them. Are they genetically modified subjects? The fairy godmother undertaking illegal experiments here? Creating minions to be her slaves? I wouldn't put it past her. We don't have, like, a sub-objective here, right? Our goal is just to murder these dudes. I'm starting to question that, though, honestly. Because it seems like no matter how many we murder, more just keep showing up. 
We need... Uh, it doesn't seem like we can run any farther over, though, so... Hopefully they're almost dead, because I'm sure as hell almost dead. Fuck me. Are you the last one? Nope, there's more. They just keep coming. Uh, is that a health potion? Oh, God. I'm dead. <laughs> G fucking G, dude. I should to try that again. Can Donkey even jump that high? Okay, he can. Good. I still think Puss is probably the best uh, melee character here. Okay, maybe we should put a focus on trying to collect some of the potions. At the very least, it'll help keep us alive longer, collecting health and shit. I forget what the blue ones do. But I remember seeing a blue one come down the conveyor belt, too. Grab the potion. Grab the potion. Got it. How long is this section, though? Uh, we're just gonna let that potion pass. I don't think we... Yeah, everyone's pretty decent on health at the moment. Where are these guys even coming from, though? Like, they just keep spawning in off the edge of the screen. They can't be coming through the door, because then the fairy godmother would just be coming through to murder us. That make us invincible for a moment? Is that what blue does? Maybe. I mean, if nothing else, we're collecting a bunch of coins. I still refuse to go back to that earlier level and buy the one upgrade I actually want, but it still feels good to be rich. <laughs> Stop hitting the dude running the conveyor belt. God damn it. Give me the potion. Red needs health. Like, there's this golden circle on the ground, so I think there's something that we're supposed to do there, but I think that's just a decorative map on the floor. The section just lasts so long that it feels like there's got to be something more to it than just murder everyone, you know what I mean? Oh, right there. Why did the screen not move over this far last time? Okay, Puss doesn't seem to be able to do anything. Can Shrek? I think we just crushed all of our friends there. Pretty sure they all just got murdered by Shrek, but you know, whatever. Hey, Psycho, what's up, man? Oh, look, it's Dickhead. Oh, Dickhead's a boss fight. Can, okay, can I not hit him? Can, why am I, like, stunlocked? There we go. Holy hell, dude. I was just trying to body slam him so we could stun him for a moment. Where's he running to? Stop running. Oh, he's going back there. Chickens? What? Oh, he's turning the chickens into warriors? That's where these guys come from, huh? Current goal NCAA. <laughs> you would love to watch me play a sports game. I've uh, played a few on stream, actually. It usually doesn't go so well. I'm not uh, much of a sports guy IRL, so I know very little about them, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, yeah. The more I've played of them, the more I've grown to... Uh, accept them i would say but still not my uh favorite experience the sports games i did kind of enjoy uh like nfl street and what well, nba ballers or something like that i forget what it was called. i think it was ballers we played those ones pretty early on and they were they were decent you know, a bit of a different take on a sports game I've seen online that a lot of people have love for the NCAA series as well. Like, I think it was uh, G4TV was going, did a, a football episode talking or comparing it to RPG games. And I think it was them who was saying that like the NCAA football games were, were exceptionally decent. 
and that they were hoping to see a return of them someday. I'm bigger than you. Oh god, we're like dead. I did not realize how low on health everyone was getting. Oh boy, that's fine. We got we got puss in boots and a tiny bit of donkey. That's uh, <laughs> that's all we need, right? Surely, surely everything's gonna end up being okay. We might have to go back just to get some health upgrades from one of the shops, dude. I didn't really want to replay any of the old levels, but I think that's gonna be on the docket after we finish this level. I'm still gonna try to beat this one first because I don't want to start over after we've already done three quarters of it here but i do think it would be uh helpful getting some health upgrades i think we can also get an, an attack upgrade i'm sure there's other ones too problem is i don't i remember which level the first upgrade shop thing was at, but I don't remember what level the second one was actually in. I know it wasn't all that long ago. Hopefully it says like on the, the main menu screen where it has all the levels listed where you pick your level. Hopefully it says there somewhere that there's a shop in that level. I, I don't think it does, but it would be very handy. Oh, he's already back to Invincible. Okay. I mean, things seem to be going better this time, at least, so far. No one's died yet. We haven't used our health upgrade yet. That just reinforces my idea that I think Puss in Boots really is the best melee fighter that, that we have. I didn't grab the health potion. It might have been a little bit premature, but I didn't want to risk Puss dying. Honestly, the ranged attacks from Hood is are putting in some work as well. Because it kind of like pauses his animation for a second, stopping him from getting us into some sort of stun loop. Good old Prince Charming there. I don't know how well the music's coming through, but it's kind of anticlimactic, man, for a boss battle. Like, <laughs> like the music's fine, don't get me wrong. It's not bad music, but it could definitely uh, convey a little bit more excitement with the, with the boss fight here. As it stands, it's just like, it just sounds like another level's music. Get you, Shrek. Like, there's nothing special about it for this for this special moment. <laughs> <laughs> and is that the end of the level, or we got more? We got more. Okay. I thought after the second boss fight of the level, we'd be done with it. But I was wrong. What did he say? Have mercy? I'm really... Did he say small child? I'm kind of deaf. I don't know what he said. I doubt it came through on stream well enough for anyone else to hear, but oh well. Oh, okay. Can we blow up some of the TNT with red? No, don't throw it at him. I specifically highlighted the TNT for a reason, my guy. What about the explosive? Yeah. The explosive, uh... Apples. That'll do the trick. I'm glad the projectiles have a lock-on, but it's kind of pointless whenever... You aim it, and then it doesn't go where you aim. <laughs> like, why, why have the aiming mechanic at all if it's just gonna ignore it and throw it at whatever enemy it wants? I assume the game didn't mean for us to just stand back and kill everyone the way we did, but fuck them. Alright, grab puss. What's the... I think the orange gives us like a temporary power-up. 
Yeah, dude, give me that extra attack power. Let's go. Oh, God. Grab the health potion. Somebody. We actually got a little low there for a moment. No overtime allowed, sorry. I can't imagine the fairy godmother paying overtime wages. The work conditions we've seen so far in this factory of hers are not that of a uh, healthy work environment. What did we get a good job for? We didn't even do anything. We were just walking through the level. Wait, is this another chase section? What? <laughs> so twice now, in the same level, we've had two boss fights, two chase sections. Weird, dude. It really feels like they started to run out of ideas as the game went on. So they just started doing, like, whatever. God, I'm already missing Puss, man, with his ability to actually jump. GG? I think that's GG. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here and make sure the potion works. There we go. That was the end of the level. Okay. That was a thing. Uh, chapter select is Spooky Forest. I know this is one of the ones with the shop. Sadly, yeah, it doesn't look like it tells us anywhere. We might as well go ahead and go to that one, though, so that we can grab the uh, whatever bonuses there are from here, upgrades there are from here. I know this one has the every coin's worth two coins or whatever one, which is the one that I originally wanted. <laughs> And really would have been helpful to get early in the game, but we didn't have enough. It's also a little bit annoying because we have to escort these stupid mice all the way up to where we need to go. Uh, throw the apple. No, not there. There we go. Thanks, Hood. Shrek break tree? No, wait. Don't break tree. We don't need to break this stuff. We just need to get there. Might as well collect some of the coins still, though. So, obviously, we're going to need the money. Grab donkey. Can we just, like, continue to run past these people? If we just ignore them, what happens? Oh, we can't knock over the tree until we kill everyone, I guess. Well, that's fucking dumb. Got to watch where I'm going. <laughs> watch. <laughs> the little pop-ups on screen, like the good jobs and stuff like that, feel like a bit of an afterthought, you know? Because it's literally just... I don't know what font, but we'll say Arial. <laughs> like, just an Arial font popping up saying, good job. No no borders, no fancy graphics or anything like that. Just, hey, good job, dude. Traps have been taken care of. Oh, we don't have... We don't have puss. Mice good? They Gucci. I think I'll go this way. I'm ignoring the chest for now. I just want to get to the shop. Right, can all of my other people make their way over now, please? Thank you. The camera kind of locks whenever any of your characters are too far away, so it's a bit annoying whenever <laughs> I'm trying to just continue forward and the game's like, nah, fuck off, dude. What's over there? What's over there? Death. Death is over there. Pitchfork in your eye? That doesn't sound like a good time, dude. Is that why you're so angry? Because you got a pitchfork in your eye? 
Honestly, I, I get it, man. I can't imagine I'd be in too good of a mood either after having a pitchfork in my eye. Honestly, I'm surprised you can still, like, function. Sounds like a good way to lose an eye. From what I've heard, it's pretty hard to see when you don't have eyeballs. God damn it. More people. I thought you were all dead. Okay. How deep into the level was the shop? That is not what we were meant to do, but it worked. How do I get in there? Oh, there's a there's a bell. Hit the throw an apple at the bell. There we go. Who's got the camera? Because I got the cheese. That's fucking. <laughs> okay. Straight out of do log. It's Fiona time. Yeah, Fiona, do your thing. Go ahead. Pause that time, girl. Or at least slow it down. There we go. Crazy Larry's Leprechaun Shop. Okay, double value coins. Let's go ahead and get that. And then, do we have enough for everything else? I think we do. More hit points. More attack power. Excellent. That's all I wanted. We can legit just leave the level now. Yes. And then, I don't suppose... Jack and Jill's farm, walking the path. I think we're just going to go to the next one. No one Try our luck. We have a little bit of an upgrade now, at least. Did a taste test. Shrek chugged the potion, hoping it contained a happily ever after for him and Fiona. Nothing happened, at least at first. But then, in the middle of the rainy night, something unexpected happened. Shrek and Donkey underwent a massive transformation. Shrek was as handsome as a prince, and Donkey his noble steed. Things seemed to be going great as the gang said thanks and goodbye to Lil Red for now. But after Shrek drank her potion, Fairy Godmother knew her son, Prince Charming, had a handsome rival for Fiona's affection. So she made sure he was locked away in the deepest, darkest dungeon of a faraway prison where no escape was possible. What Fairy Godmother didn't count on was Shrek's friends finding out about his arrest through a concerned and extremely benevolent third party. So a jailbreak was planned, one that would most certainly test the fellowship of this thing. The fellowship of this thing? Wonder why that sounds familiar, man. Fellowship of a thing, huh? Hmm, kind of rings a bell. Can't place it, though. I don't remember the little fairy chick, man. Was she actually in the movie? I remember all the other characters. She's got a fucking machine gun? Okay. I'm assuming... Going in the light there would be bad. Can she press... Triggers? No. No, she can't. Ow. What does the trigger even do? turns off the light. Okay. Does it come back on after we step off it? No. Four people? You control four people? Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> it has a multi-tap support, so you can play with up to four, or I guess up to three of your friends or whatever, which honestly I think would make the game much more enjoyable. But uh, I don't own a multi-tap, nor do I have four people to play with, so... We're stuck here with what we got, man. Me trying to control everyone. It only gets annoying sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if you were here for the section when we were climbing the the tower at the fairy godmother's place, but that was annoying. Because there were three different switches that we had to press. So we had to, like, put one person on a switch, get them up to the next level, 
grab the next correct character, because you had to have the correct character on each level, and then get them up to there to put them on a switch and repeat with everyone. That was that was kind of annoying, man. I wish I had more people for that one, for sure. Okay, I'm assuming we're just pushing the ball over here. Can I get a humanoid character? I feel like that would be a little easier to control than the fairy chick. Okay, well that worked. I thought we were going to have to like fight someone or something. Like somebody was going to try to push it away from there. Maybe that was just teaching us. Oh. We have to keep bringing the ball up with us. Okay, this is going to get much more annoying than I had hoped. Oh, you're dead. And as soon as one character dies, or at least falls off the map, you have to restart the level. If they die to, like, combat, it's fine. But if they fall to their death somewhere, yeah, you're restarting from the last checkpoint. That's another really annoying thing about the game, man. No falling, yeah. Do not fall, whatever you do, man. Falling is death. Pushing this ball would probably be a lot easier with a couple people. Why? <laughs> Why? All the other characters were just on the other side pushing it away from the side I was trying to roll it to. I hope the ball can't fall at any point. Okay, do you have a hint? Please give me a hint. How many ways can you think of? Uh, attacking it, pushing it. Okay, attacking it seems to be the way to go. The fairy chick has, like, that machine gun. Maybe that would work okay? Wow, no hint. That was a giant troll, yeah. Not particularly helpful, but, you know. It's fine. The puzzles in this game are usually pretty simple anyways. Not that big of a deal. Can you can you pull the lever fairy or I'm guessing she just can't pull it. Okay. C circle. I'm pressing circle, I promise. Jesus fuck, man. Uh, push the ball down the hill, gain speed, break thing, maybe? God damn it, no, go that way. Yes, dude, let's go. Water. Water. Oh, God. Okay, it stopped. Water. Sorry, I ain't got no water, dude. Damn it, we need hood. Or fairy chick. I'm trying to aim straight forward. Okay, no. We're going to have to use hood. Fairy chick doesn't shoot far. Stop auto-targeting, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't care if you're innocent, man. I'm trying to throw the damn apple straight forward. What's the point of having an aiming mechanic when it just throws whatever goddamn direction it wants to anyways? Woe is me, woe is me. There you go. You're Someone free. Are you happy now? You're not even escaping. You're just chilling there. Thank God. Okay. We technically got caught, but we hit the thing soon enough that I think we're... We're in the clear. I don't know what happens if we actually get caught, but I can't imagine it's a good thing. Why are all you guys coming out of what appears to be a cell? Did you somehow lock yourselves in a cell? For some reason, that wouldn't really surprise me, man. These guards don't seem like the brightest bunch. Sucks that we can't collect any of the coins over there. Those could come in handy at some point.
Okay, are these spiders infinite? Huh? Okay, we must be... Okay, the fairy probably can't push anything. Oh, we have to like pump it up. There we go. Just leave the spiders alone. They're just gonna keep keep spawning forever. More mindless fighting. Let's go. Oh, God. We're gonna die, aren't we? Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> I need you all to die, if you don't mind. Thank God for Machine Gun Fairy. We'll just stand here. Just stand in one place. We're basically untouchable. Please be the last of them, though. Everyone should respawn, yeah. Dope. It's definitely the type of game I could see myself having fun with playing with friends. But uh, I don't see myself ever replaying it solo. That's for sure. Like, the first level or so, I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. You know what I mean? Like... It's pretty decent, but after time, or as time passed, it, it really just kind of started to show all of its flaws. The level design kind of falls flat after a while, man. There's just really nothing to it. Okay, is there a way? There's got to be a way to let out that ball. Is there a switch somewhere? I'm assuming... Oh my god, are you serious right now? <laughs> that looked like a gap we could jump over, man. I don't think letting the prisoners go is actually going to help us in any way. This chest got anything? No. Can we stealth this section? Will that help us out? I mean, all those guards aren't spawning, at least. How? Do we... Okay, that released the pig for some reason. But not the ball? God damn it. It really is a stealth section. I thought maybe we could kill the dude before... He sounded the alarm or whistled, I guess. Oh, Gingerbread Bro does not have much hit points. One hit and he's out. Fairy Lady too, man. Who snuck a stealth game in my, my terrible early 2000s movie game? And now we're pumping it up with one person. You would, I would have thought they would have, like, had the single pump work first, and then the double pump. Oh, God. Okay. Those fall after an amount of time. That health. Please and thank you, man. How do we release the mouse? Huh. Sorry, little blind dude. You're going to stay there for a bit because I don't know what to do with you. Can we break the egg to stop them from spawning? Why are you attacking that way, gingerbread man? All the enemies are behind you. It's weird. Like, little red has... Her her apples and her apples lock on even when you don't want them to. And then you have people like fucking gingerbread man that you can't lock on to a care or to an enemy to save your life. Is 
this just infinite? Like I'm just I'm I'm murdering them all. <laughs> Nothing's happening here. I can't seem to hurt the egg in any way. Can we just run past? Just ignore them for a moment? Guys, just keep running. Please. Come this way. Thank you. Okay. Um. Red on here. Gingerbread man. Pump us up. And then switch back to red. Pull the lever. Oh, boy. Thankfully, after today, I don't think we're going to have to deal with this anymore. Now, what's... Oh, that's just a... Just a spring platform. Okay, now this egg is, like, right in the middle of the path. So, surely we can break this one, right? To stop these dudes from spawning forever. Yes. That other one was just out of our reach, I guess. Oh, you know what? I wonder... Well, no, we tried to shoot it with the fairy. And that didn't do shit. But I wonder if, uh... If Gingerbread Man could have thrown his candy cane cane... At it and, and destroyed it that way. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> Thank God for checkpoints. Break the damn egg. I shouldn't care about the prisoner, but I feel bad. <laughs> Alright, jump this time, my guy. Pull the damn lever. Somehow that rotates an entire staircase. That's fine. This is Harry Potter now. They're going to get caught in that damn light, aren't they? No, thank God. At least their AI was smart enough to keep them away from that. Sorry, bro. Once again, I have no idea how to save you, so you're just going to have to chill there, my guy. I'm sure saving you is like a sub-objective or something, but... I'm either stupid or uh, it's impossible. Red, can you get the fuck out of the way, please? Stop pushing it that way, dude. There we go. Keep it going. Thank God there's bumpers on the walls here. Otherwise, we'd be completely fucked. No. You cannot get a whoop whoop. I'm not your punching wolf. Can we break that gate? That might make you a little red. Will this like follow the the track back down and bust it open? I guess there's not really a track, it's just right here. Don't scratch the fur. Was there any point in doing that? Like, why... Why did we unlock this staircase? Which way do we actually need to go? You look... I was trying not to trigger the boss fight. I wanted to go the other direction, but, uh... Is it too late? Nope. Okay, we'll just ignore you. You don't exist. Let's just go this way, man. Maybe it'll be a shortcut around the, the troll dude or something. Oh, it's another leprechaun, bro. Hi, man. We're slashing prices. Everything must go. Your shit seems awfully expensive for slashing prices. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the only thing we can buy. Plus nine hit points, man. I mean, thank you for your business. No, you weren't wasting my time, really. Okay. 
I didn't think I was wasting your time, but uh, thanks for feeding my insecurities, I guess. Hey, hey, gingerbread man, I'm pushing up. Can you face up, maybe? Okay. Will this, like, kill that troll somehow? No, but it is letting us around the troll, so I'll take it. I thought that was a pig. Can someone help a blind mouse? Someone help a blind mouse? Where? Oh, right there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about getting all those guys out, man. I think I've already fucked that for the day, so. Mm. Is that gonna come over here next? No. Uh, red? Gr grown apple? Red, thank you. I'm so lost. I have no idea where we're going, to be going right now. Get me out! You're free. You can run or whatever you want now. It looks like maybe platforming right here. Did we get a checkpoint recently? I sure hope we did. Oh, it's just another one of the prisoners, man. Please help me some water. Okay. The only other thing we can do is go up. Please don't get caught by the light. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay. That's all we had to do. That was the whole puzzle. Just platform on up and press the, the only trigger there was around here. Looks like we need all four people on here, so let's go ahead and kill the egg. Otherwise, it's going to be hyper annoying, because I imagine they're going to keep leaving their little platforms to get away from the enemies. Wait, can the fairy even... Can she even hit a platform? Uh... Can you like, woe is me, woe is me. oh, we can make Did other people help? float. That's what circle does. I, I, uh, <laughs> water. Water. I don't know how to hit the last button. Circle X. Um, okay. Is there something we can push? We can pump this up. Maybe that'll help us in some way. Okay. Let's get... Oh, no, the fairy can't pull levers. Can, Can anyone jump that high? Oh, you know what? Maybe if we use the fairy to float someone... And then water. grab them. Please help with some water. No, they don't float high enough. Okay. Uh. Bro, I am at a loss on this one. Okay. We can't push all the lever or the oh, buttons on the ground. Oh, it doesn't seem. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's the rubble over here. I'm blind. There we go. Okay. Grab the wolf. Grandmother wolf. Camera, please let me go f far enough. Oh my god. Game. No! You bastard! <laughs> Stay up there, man! He won't stay up there. Um... Shit, dude. I have no idea what to do. We can't go any farther forward. 
Oh. I see. It's raising the ones that people are on. I am an idiot. Water. Okay, so if we just leave that one water. down. Please help with some water. And then we could raise up the other three. Well, no, three's not going to help. Because I don't think she can press the button, right? Because if we have... We have to use these three to hold down the triggers. Can she press this thing? No, she can't do that either. So maybe... Maybe we need to do it like stair step. Go ahead and grab you. Or no, we're going to want that one all the way up. So let's grab Hood, actually. Have you go over here. And then Hood, go press the button a couple times. Oh, damn it. Get on the button. Okay, we need to... I think we need to reset it. I think if we just keep going, it resets. Yeah. See, this is the stuff that's really annoying when you're trying to do this single player. This is where you really need, like, a group of four for these puzzles to make any sense. Otherwise, it's just tedious as fuck. Okay. So we want... The last two to go up a couple times. Stay on those buttons, guys. Okay, maybe about that much. Now we want... These ones to go up, because we want the last one to be all the way up by the end. Okay. Now have you go back to this one. Hood, go ahead and come off that one for a second. Just pump this one up. That looks pretty decent. Let's see if we can jump up there now. Hey, I'm innocent. I don't out. care, my guy. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I hope I... Oh. Never have to do that again. Spider Queen? Ow. Just stand back and machine gun her in the face. That was a boss fight, all right. Now, since that was the boss fight, is that the end of the oh, level? There they are, just hanging around. Come just on, chilling, you know. We gotta get back to far, far away before that fat lady sings. How are we gonna get them out of there? Dressed for bed, but ready for action, Big Bad Wolf! What? I know, I know, it's hero time. <laughs> uh, yes, well, Wolf, your hero time is full of fabulous prizes and the key to free your pals. But in order to free your pals, you must survive the Staircase of Doom! Not the Staircase of Doom! Oh, hero fuck, guys. <laughs> You know the game's good when even the characters are getting annoyed with it. Oh god. Okay. So if we get hit by one of the bombs, we get stunned. I can't help but notice we only had half health. Is that... Are we always only going to have half health? No, okay. Must just have been uh, some damage that came from that boss fight. Uh, jump. Thanks. Oh god. I Oh god. I ran right into that. Please be the end. Nope. You got to be kidding. Me. 
How tall is this staircase, my guy? Any moment now. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! It pushed us back. Fuck. <laughs> I thought it would just stun us and do deal a little damage. I didn't know it was going to push us back off the ledge, too. I'd much rather do this with, like, Gingerbread Man. I feel like he has a lot more agility, a lot more movement than the bigger characters like Wolf. Uh, I'm... Okay. Game. Jump me high enough to actually get up there, please. Thank you. No, 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 no. I'm getting impatient. You gotta wait for the platforms, dude. As annoying as it is, dying's just gonna make it take longer. The greed is real. Okay. We got this now. Perfect timing. It's weird how the platforms like switch back and forth instantly. That was that was greed incarnate right there, man. Oh no! I was pressing X. This game is jank. I hate it. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad. All right. Anyways, what I was going to say is normally in games that have moving platforms like that, they stay in the uh, open, like, enclosed position for a moment whenever the other one starts to move to give you a bit of a lifeline whenever jumping between them. But this game's like, nah, fuck that, dude. You're either going to make it or get fucked. Really just gotta time it out, like. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's great, actually. Better than fine. We got this, dude. No worries. I'm not getting frustrated at all. At least we've gotten pretty decent at dodging the bombs. <laughs> Bright side, right? Hey, Mr. Noodle. What's up, love? Okay. I hope you're enjoying this uh, torture that you put us through. By popping some meme votes on, on Shrek 2. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jump! You... Bastard. <laughs> Those platforms fall if you stand on them too long. Thank you for the five bits, love. Those platforms fall if you stand on them too long, so I had to jump to the next area. But then you had that stupid-ass bomb waiting there for us, which pushed us back onto the falling platform. <laughs> it's good. It's a good time. Let's try this again. Okay. Wait for it to start moving. You got to time that out quick, man. Like, as soon as it starts moving, you got to go. No, don't, don't, don't fucking. No, oh, god damn it. Okay. Oh, that was bad timing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Was I able to get more sleep? Uh, not right away. I fell asleep at like 4.30 in the afternoon though. Hence why the stream was a little late. Ended up taking a little bit of a nap. Not to say any names, but uh, someone came upstairs, shook me awake from a deep sleep this morning, telling me I had to go to work. <laughs> I don't know why they would do such a thing. Especially when you consider I don't work on Wednesdays <laughs> at my, my normal job, my day job. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what happened. It's fine. 
Who wants to sleep in on their day off anyways? <laughs> Why do I always fall asleep right before a stream or D&D? Probably because I'm sleep deprived at night. <laughs> you forgot it was Wednesday, you're sorry? It's fine. So it's not, it's not really that big of a deal. I forgive you, love. Mistakes happen. You just wanted to make sure I didn't miss work. I get it. Okay, come on. Wait for the platform. We have a moment. Oh, we're fucked. We're literally fucked. I don't think that platform is ever going to respawn. Let's throw ourselves off the cliff. Let's throw ourselves off the cliff. I like platforming games. I do not like platforming in this game. It's fucking terrible. And I feel like we're progressively getting worse at uh, dodging the bombs. Okay, we got this, dude. Channer, channel your inner Mario player or something. But I mostly play 2D Mario, so I don't know how much that's going to help. In a this is the last time I try before we take our break. <laughs> so I'm getting annoyed, and I think that's just making me worse. That was your last five bits, by the way? I'm sorry, love. I don't <laughs> really know what to tell you about that. Thank you for uh, giving them to me. I appreciate that. Your last five bits... Precious, precious bits. Meh. Wait, are you are you saying meh to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we Gucci. Okay, we gotta wait for this platform for a moment. There we go. And then go, and then go. And then don't get hit. Don't get fucking stunned. I hate everything. Okay. We're going to break. <laughs> We're going to take our break, guys. Run it out. I'm going to stand up, get a drink, stretch a little bit, try to... Take a deep breath or two. And then we're going to complete this stupid fucking hero time. <laughs> BRB, guys. Overlay, but it is possible to install Windows on it if you wanted to. And then from there, you can, you know, do all the normal things that you would with a Windows PC on it. I think it'll be great, man. I'm really excited for it. Because not only for, you know, PC gaming, but then also retro gaming with, like, uh, emulation and whatnot for games that you own. Install, like, RetroArch or something on it. And I have a pretty decent PlayStation 1 collection as well, for instance. I can take all of the, my PlayStation 1 games with me anywhere and just play them on the go like that. Uh, maybe even PS2. I, I don't know for sure if it'll be powerful enough to do PS2, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it does. So again, just, you know, awesome little machine. Really excited for it. And it, it's basically a Switch, like same form factor as the Switch and all that. I like this track a lot better. It's more varied. <laughs> right, we're turning right and left. Oh, Heck yeah, that'd be awesome. Yes, yes, Nate, it would be. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it'll run PS2 games. I, I can't say that for positive, but I'm pretty sure it will run PS2 games. Hey, so at that point, you'd be able to run GTA better than the Switch can. Because <laughs> the, uh, I don't know if you've, anybody's seen the news about it, but the GTA Trilogy remaster that came out for Switch... Uh, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox, all, you know, everything. Uh, not that great. There's some, some serious problems, not only with the remaster itself, but specifically the Switch version is just, like, it's pretty bad, man, to be honest. The frame rate is, is not good. It's very blurry and low resolution. A lot of the textures and models just aren't up to snuff, at least on the, the Switch version. The... Higher end consoles and PC version weren't that bad, although there were still frame pacing issues. 
because it seems like they un they ported everything to the Unreal Engine, but then didn't give it any sort of optimization at all, is what I've been hearing. So, it, there's just, you know, random lag spikes, and uh, it going from, you know, 60 FPS down to randomly down to, like, 40, 50 or whatever, and it's just making it kind of jittery and... Then the, the rain effect that they used has, like, no velocity or anything. It's just a simple, straight downpour of rain. So it looks very repetitive and just poorly done. And then it's so heavy that it can be hard to see anything that you're doing at times. And then there's some Z-layer issues where, like, if you look out into the ocean, all of the rain just mysteriously disappears. And the rain clips through different objects that it shouldn't, like, bridges and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's safe to say there's some issues with it. Now, hopefully some of it will be fixed. And if anybody is thinking of picking it up, I wouldn't suggest it for the for the Switch. And sadly, it's not even available for PC right now because they put it up for PC, people were playing it, and then it went down because of the Rockstar Game Launcher, the only platform that it was on, was having issues. So that went down, and then while that was down, they took the game off sale because of some issues with the game and they still haven't gotten it back up from what i've heard so you can't even buy it on pc at the moment and if you had bought it you couldn't play it for like 11 hours because of their stupid service being down it was kind of ridiculous rockstar really screwed this up they should have just released it on steam or i mean i think a lot of people know at this point i'm not a huge fan of the epic game launcher but even that would have been better than putting it on their own store if their own store is going to be this broken, you know? Okay, these little jumps are really screwing me here. I can't build up no speed. With all these constant little hops. Alright, alright guys, we're back. I'm back, I'm refreshed. I got a drink, I did a couple stretches, I turned on the air conditioner because I was getting a little bit warm in here, probably from the frustration. What am I doing Took here? a couple deep breaths, I think. We got this. This will be the run. This one right here. If it's not this one, it'll be the next one. This is just, this is the warm up round, that's all. <laughs> no, we, we got this. It, it's not actually that hard. We're making it much more harder than it needs to be. I'm convinced of it. I mean, it's a fucking Shrek game, you know? It's got to be meant for, like, children. I'm pushing 30. Like, <laughs> I got to be able to do this. You're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> okay, we need to wait a moment. We just got hit by a bat. I didn't even know those bats could hit us on this level. I've never had that happen before. You know what I am going to do real quick? I'm going to switch my monitor to direct uh, PS2. There we go. Instead of playing through OBS for just a moment. I don't know if that'll really make much of a difference, but I think it'll I think it'll help at least a little bit. Why well, it looks a lot darker playing it this way, not gonna lie. But it should help with like a little bit of lag. So OBS doesn't add a ton of lag, but it does certainly add some. So this hopefully, fingers crossed, will make things a, a little bit more smooth for us here. I got too greedy again. When you got to work, you were still thinking it was Tuesday? Weren't you off on Tuesday? Yeah, you were off on Tuesday. <laughs> Why the hell would you think it was a Tuesday when you didn't even work on Tuesday, dude? Yep. <laughs> oh, love you. Did you get enough sleep last night, Mr. Noodle? <laughs> Are you okay? Forgetting what day it is usually isn't a great sign. Like, <laughs> You were very surprised when the truck showed up. Like nine hours, I think. Oh boy. Nate's been talking about, uh, Nate that comes in the stream all the time, has been talking about taking like these brain vitamin things. Oh damn it. Oh damn it. Okay, we're fine. Now's the time to go. 
Let's fucking go. This is the farthest we've ever been. That's fucking sad to say, but it's true. <laughs> this is... Let's go, dude. Let's go. There's the key. See, told you we had this, man. That really shouldn't have been so fucking difficult. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. And that was the end of the level, for real. All right, let's save the fucking game. I never want to have to do that again. Also, I switched back to uh, the OBS view. It's a lot easier for me to see, like, uh, chat and stuff like that when I'm in this view. Chapter select. What we got? We got three left, dude. We got three left and two hours to do it. Let's go. was Mount Grimm, known amongst mountaineers as the heaping ginormous mound of rubble o' death. Big Bad Wolf, claiming to have been a Big Bad Sherpa in his puppyhood, knew a shortcut. <laughs> Why go over a mountain when you can go through it? And remember, if Shrek and the bunch don't move fast, Prince Charmy will kiss our unsuspecting Fiona, and Shrek will lose Fiona forever. So wait, is this like another chase section, or are we just on a timer? Oh, no, this is probably going to end up being kind of like the uh, dragon section, ain't it? Get out the way. Charge will get us through. Let Donkey do his thing. Wait, our special charge? Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. That was your special charge? Just a, a very short <laughs> forward charge? I was expecting something a little more dramatic getting through there. I'm not going to lie, dude. This in general isn't what I was thinking it was going to be. I, I really did think this was going to be like the, uh, the section with the dragon. No, this is just a normal fucking level. Timber! Just Shrek's riding his valiant steed. Can we break this? It looks breakable with all the particles it's throwing off, but no, I'm guessing not. We're wasting time. Just move forward. We need to finish this game tonight so we can pick the next game that we're going to play. Even if we somehow don't finish the game tonight, we're still going to go ahead and roll for the next game. But I imagine we'll finish it, man. Can I not? Okay. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, probably gonna need Cookie Bro. Wait, what happened? Did someone fall in the water? Someone fell in the damn water, didn't they? Thank God for checkpoints, dude. Stop pushing them in the water. It was Shrek. Shrek was trying to attack those dudes that were too far away. And because of that, he pushed uh, the fucking big bad wolf dude into the water. Can I, can I make that jump? It looks like we should be able to, but no. Okay, so I think... Okay, that actually worked. So instead of, like, trying to kill them with range, maybe we'll just run over here and... You know what? We'll just run over here and completely fucking ignore them. You have no idea what I said after you said you got nine hours of sleep, you had to help your cashier? Uh, I think... I don't remember. <laughs> I think I just asked if you were okay? I don't know. I don't remember, love. That was forever ago. <laughs> I won't let us continue forward because Shrek's fucking dead. You're sleepy? Nine hours of sleep and you're sleepy? Please don't fall in the water Can't again, guys. A nice old lady. See, why are they even trying to attack them? Like, it's pretty obvious they can't, dude. <laughs> like, just leave them a fuck load. Holy hell. The milk truck kicked your ass. What the? Uh, okay. So can Shrek pick up... Oh, we can't pick him up, but we can, like, charge him. Let's go, dude. Wait, Shrek has potions he can throw now? That's pretty dope. 
Got all kinds of power ups here, dude. A jump, throw the potion. Good job. Thank you, game. Are we still escaping the prison? I have to assume that's what's going on here, but I don't actually know. I've kind of stopped paying any attention to the story. Out of frustration for the game as a whole. <laughs> like... These sections are going by surprisingly quick. We're getting a lot of good jobs. It's weird. Why are there so many, like... Uh... God, my mind just went blank. Piston. Air piston fucking machines in this world. Like, who just hides the staircase underwater? I mean, I guess it is a prison. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know we could do that with the Big Bad Wolf. It makes sense, I guess. You know, the whole huff puff, blow it all down sort of deal. It was just kind of luck that that was the character I was on and I was hitting buttons trying to figure out what to do with the windmill. Please tell me these dudes aren't going to spawn forever. It sure as hell is looking like they're going to spawn forever. Can we quickly pull the lever? Well, that spawned even more people. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, though? Grab Shrek. Oh, Shrek's... Okay, Shrek's alive. I thought Shrek was dead. Checkpoint. I don't know how to free you, my guy. Okay, donkey's too big to get up there. You go there, puss. You come over here. And pump. I say, rough, rough. Money could show there. Thanks, man. Way to the other side of Mount Grimm. Are we close by any chance? I dare say, sweet Nancy, not by a long shot. It only gets harder from here on out. Only gets harder from here on out? That's not what I want to hear. Okay, so wait, we saved you, but that doesn't actually tell us which way to go. Wait, could we have just ignored that guy entirely? Oh, it's another one of these sections. Maybe not. It looked like we were going to have to split the party up. It was a few levels back on the last stream. We ended up having to split the party, like one on each side with two different walkways and move them back and forth and shit. And it was super annoying. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like it's really going to make us do that here. Maybe the game devs themselves realized that <laughs> the game was getting a bit annoying. Is that it? Up all the way? Oh, stone warriors, you are my aces. Hound those smiles right off their faces! Wow, dude. Not very nice. <laughs> Okay, is there a trick to this boss fight? We just like attack with range? Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. What about your ranged attack? Okay, we stunned him. I don't know how exactly we stunned him. Was it just from hitting him? Oh, his, his hammer's stuck. Hit him while he's stuck, dude. 
Okay, wait, he's, he's invincible. Why is there no boss music at all? This is just the same damn music that we had a moment ago. All right, well, <laughs> that was an anticlimactic boss fight. Spider bros, let's kill them real quick. Get rid of the egg. Eggs are annoying as shit. Alright, is there another trick to this pump? Or do we just need to get all three people over here? Why is Shrek like running into that wall? I thought we had to use all three pumps, but maybe not. Maybe just one at a time? And then the next one? Okay, now we need two characters. Shrek really wants to go over here, so I'm assuming Shrek's the one that needs to go up. And now he's decided not to. What is going on here, dude? <laughs> oh my God. Why was he constantly running up against that wall? I thought maybe only he could go up there or something. So the AI was trying to put him in place, but no, it's fucking, it's fine. This game's so dumb sometimes. Hi, oh, Spider Queen. You were much easier to deal with when I could just attack you constantly at range. Oh god, we're we're dead. We're fucking dead, yep. Sorry, we, we got a checkpoint right before that fight. That just means everyone will get a nice uh health regen. What does the air attack actually do? Just damage, that's it. Lame. Uh put some boots. Maybe, uh, maybe destroying the eggs would be a good idea, actually. Oh. Did that work? Okay, yeah. I, for a moment there, I was worried that by pushing the spider queen, spider mama off the platform, it would just never die. <laughs> and then we would just be stuck here forever. Soft lock. Thankfully, that was not the case. It seems like... Everything worked out in the end. That you can definitely walk out at this point, dude. Like, oh god, it's coming back down. Why? Okay, keep pumping. How high do we need to get this thing? You could have ran out at any moment, dude. Nothing was keeping you in there. Now hurry up and rescue Snow White. Wait, Snow White's in here? Uh, I don't know if we can make that jump. No, it won't even let me try and make that jump. So ignore that, I guess. Maybe, maybe we'll come back for you later. Maybe. Oh, Puss is dead. Puss is back. It's okay. Hey, Golem Bro. Ow. You went from being a boss to being nothing in a very short period of time. Dude, you're dead. Your health bar says you're dead. Just go away. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Just, just stand here. Don't do anything. Just chill. Okay. And dead. 
I'm sure they meant for this to be like an epic sequence or something, but uh, it's really kind of falling flat, dude. I don't think it's hitting the mark they were going for at all. A lot of that, I imagine, just comes down to sound design. Sound design and the sheer repetitiveness of it all. It's like, how many times can we fight enemies with the same basic attacks, you know? It's not like we're unlocking new attacks or abilities or anything like that. Every once in a while, we get a new character, like Shrek on horseback, for instance. But at the end of the day, he plays just like all the other characters. So it doesn't feel like anything new, anything exciting, you know? Okay. Beards and whiskers, free at last. Listen, guys, first things first, we need to save Snowy from the clutches of Fairy Godmother. Once you do, it's smooth sailing to far, far away. Gotcha. Save Snow White. Go to far, far away. Mary Fiona as my sexy un ogre like self. Gold Golem. Ooh, this one can actually walk around. Spoopy. I imagine the fight's gonna be the same though. We just wait for him to fucking. Yeah, for him to wear himself out for a moment. And then we don't see shit because of the particle effects. <laughs> Maybe deal with these eggs real quick. Okay. What are you saying okay to? <laughs> hi, Nate. Also. <laughs> I feel like hi is a better thing to say. Sent the old to wrong thing. I hate when I send the old to the wrong thing. <laughs> are you good, bro? Are you having a stroke over there? <laughs> Uh. One more. And froze. Let's go. Sent the okay to wrong thing. I mean, I figured that's what you meant, but like, <laughs> haven't slept? Wait, you mean like you didn't sleep at all last night? The fuck you doing, bro? Go to bed. <laughs> or are you at work? You might be at work right now, huh? Three... Four and oh shit shit he changed it up he's doing a spinning attack oh fuck man you're supposed to get frozen after four hits oh my god you're not dead mm -hmm. the boss health bars in this game are either glitched to hell and back or just fucking unfair <laughs> like, sometimes when you hit them the first couple of hits it doesn't move at all. And then the health bar will be completely empty and they'll still be running around doing their thing. Is bullshit. Hi, Snow White. Why was Snow White locked up anyways? By the fairy godmother. Or the prison, if we're still in the prison or whatever. Oh, was Snow White locked up to stop... Prince Charming from marrying her? It's been a little while since I've seen Shrek 2. That's a possibility. So now it's the chase sequence that I thought we were going to be doing from the get-go. Dangers? Oh, you had your interview. So you couldn't sleep. I feel that, man. I've been there. Thank God we have a health bar this time. And it's not just insta-death like it was with the dragon. There's nothing really to do, though. But just, like... Just chill. Oh, fuck. Chill and try not to die. Now, I am really glad that your interview went well, though, dude. Do 
do you know, uh, like, when they're putting the call out for whoever they're hiring or anything? Or I don't know if that's something you would even know. But I hope you get it, man. It always sucks being at a job that, uh, because of circumstances, you don't particularly enjoy, you know what I mean? So it'd be nice for you to be able to switch it up a little bit. I just hope if you do get it, you like the, the new one, the one that you're getting. My mic just flew away from me. There we go. It's back. I really need to remember one of these days to get a fucking weight or something. Or something weighted and like zip tied to my fucking mic so it stops running away from me. Possible new job? Yep. Nate may be getting a new job. Fuck! We were so close, dude. It was probably like one hit left to take her the fuck out. That's annoying. Damn thing appeared out of nowhere, man. <laughs> Just hopped right in front of me, dude. Oh, you got it. As long as you pass the test, you're you're hired. I'm assuming you mean the uh, the piss test, which, as far as I'm aware, you would pass just fine. I mean, I guess I don't know what you do in your free time, but. <laughs> but no, that's really really good. Congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. That's awesome. Did they? So assuming you pass the test, then did they tell you when you would start? It's gonna suck not seeing you at uh at work anymore. Sweet. Nate and I don't have the same job, but we work in the same building. For anyone that's wondering out there, that's a little confused <laughs> by what's going on. Different jobs, same building. Oh, you actually—it's like an actual test you have to take. Okay, 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 okay. I gotcha. I didn't realize they uh, had that sort of thing for the job you're going for. Hell, I feel like not many jobs have that sort of thing, honestly. It's something when I was a uh, manager that I petitioned for, <laughs> honestly. I mean, I know the place that I work at does have a bit of a, uh, they do require a personality test before you can be hired. Um, but I argued specific to the area that I was a, a manager of, I argued that we should have a practical test before people started working there. <laughs> Because I was the, the manager of a, uh, a team that unloaded trucks. Um, you know, they arrived, we would unload two to 3,000 items per truck, stack them up, take them out to where they needed to go and, and work them. It's a retail job, in case that wasn't obvious. And uh, some of the guys that we got in, man, just could not stack a thing to save their damn you life, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I argued there should be a fucking practical test before anyone was allowed to <laughs> join the team. Another level down, dude. Let's go. So that's what, two left now? We got this. We fucking got this. Save again. Most city jobs I have it. Fair. I've never actually applied for a city job, but makes sense, I guess. I didn't even really think of it as a city job whenever you mentioned what it was to me out, outside of stream, but I guess that makes sense, too. They arrived to find Gingerbread Man brought a little friend. Well, okay. A big friend. Dragon, let's go, crew, dude. Gingerbread Man had whipped up a monstrous cookie creation to help defeat Fairy Godmother. Unfortunately, his weapon of mass destruction turned out to be a mass of doughy devastation. Oh, no, not Dragon. That's right. The Gingerbread oh, Man got huge. He got swole as fuck, dude. <laughs> Damn it, Smokey. Why don't you put out the damn fires, my guy? Wait, are we actually putting out fires? Why? <laughs> Just let the damn place burn, dude. Oh, I guess to save the citizens. That's fair, I guess. We're not necessarily here to kill the citizens. Just, uh... We're not really here to kill anyone, just here to get Fiona back. Can 
Can I put out those fires over there? No, I don't think we can actually put that one out. Oh, wait, we just did. Fuck yeah, dude. Some sort of aiming reticule would be super helpful. Okay, I think that's it for this section. Wait, is that card on fire? I can't tell if those are like torches or if it's on fire. It's on fire, okay. Wait, are we still, we're still missing more? Where the hell is the rest of the fires at? Bro, I know I'm blind, but I did not see any other fire. I guess there's some like way over there. No, we can't, we can't shoot that far. Is it like up high or something? Are the fires in these buildings not actually out? I mean, I guess I see some particles coming from this building. No, those don't seem to be fires, though. Okay. I know I'm fucking dumb, but I don't see any more fires, my guy. Maybe there's another section. Is there another thing up here? Do we, do we blow the fire out? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Usually adding oxygen to fire just makes it stronger, but hey, whatever. Okay, all the fires are out. A couple citizens might have died somewhere, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> and before we actually have to save everyone. Uh, perhaps you misunderstood. I wanted you to save all the citizens. Yep. <laughs> I caught it. I fucking knew it, dude. Okay. So there's probably this door right here. There we go. G fucking G. Can I come through now, Smokey? Now will you get that lunatic cookie monster out of my town? He's a huge fire code violation. Is, is he on fire himself? I don't... It's been way too long since I've seen the movie, man. I, I really don't remember. What am I doing exactly? Right now, just playing Shrek. <laughs> but no, uh, in the, the long term, what I'm trying to do is collect and try out every PlayStation 2 game that was released in North America. Um, all the ones that I can... I'm trying out on stream. Obviously, some I can't. There's one that's just outright banned on Twitch. And then there's a couple that have copyright issues that find some sort of workaround to do. But that's the that's the goal long term, though. I would love to complete every PS2 game on stream, but uh, that would just take way too long. For someone who can't stream full time, I just don't think that's a realistic goal. So I'm just trying to try out every PS2 game. Generally one to two hours, unless it's a game I really enjoy. But then there are games that get either voted on uh, to play, or I just decide to play to completion. And uh, this is one that had received a couple votes, courtesy of Mr. Noodle. And uh, the RNG generator that I use, the random number generator that I use, picked this game <laughs> as the one that we would play, even though it only had like two meme votes. So here we are, dude. <laughs> Trying to finish fucking Shrek 2 of all stuff. Going up against games like Metal Gear Solid 2, or no, Metal Gear Solid 1, God of War, Kingdom Hearts. Instead of any of that fun stuff, nope, Shrek 2, dude, let's go. <laughs> it's a short game though. So it's it's this should pretty much be it. This is only the second time that we've played it and uh I imagine it'll be the last. What does pulling the lever actually do for us here? Okay, I mean, it sent down the elevator, but I don't know how that's helpful. We're trying. 
to get the gingerbread man through, right? So we need to shoot the people shooting him. That's a pretty cool idea. Thank you, man. I thought so. I mean, there's definitely consoles that are probably better to start a uh, game collection with than the PS2. Just because of the raw number of PS2 games out there. Uh, but I, I'm partial to the PS2. It was one of the uh, first consoles that I really like owned and, and, and played a lot of growing up, right? Because I mean, like, we, I had a Nintendo growing up and I played that a fair bit. And uh, never owned an N64, but did rent an N64 a lot, etc., etc. But the PS2 was like my teenage years. That's whenever I really started getting into gaming big and started to get a, a bit of an actual game collection like of my own and not just hand me down games from from other people um how do we get oh okay i think puss needs to I think we're fucked here, man. Because I think Puss needs to knock down this bridge. But Puss is stuck. Puss in Boots is stuck over here where he's at. None shall pass. As far as I can tell, I can't jump back up here. I don't think there's like a platform or anything to let me continue. So, yeah. We're just going to have to redo that section. Annoying. Oh, well, hey, at least uh, at least it teleported everyone back up here for me or up here for me. That's helpful. Oh, no, never mind. We're not where I thought we were. I can't shoot those guys all the way over there, can I, from here? No, it won't let me turn that far. Okay, so puss. Go ahead and come over here again, my guy. And annoyingly, we have to manually bring everyone else over as well. For some reason, their AI can't have them jump across the street. You can really tell this game was made for four players. Like, Oh, we there's another bridge there we were supposed to knock down. That's why they weren't running over on their own. They were meant to have help. That makes sense. Okay, hurry up. Get on the thing. So I'm assuming if the gingerbread man gets pushed too far back, that's GG as well. Alright, presumably we can just jump down at this point. Oh, there was a little platform there. I wonder if that platform... Is that enough to jump up here? Wait, what happened? Why'd we lose that time? Okay. A little bit of feedback would be nice, game, because I have no idea what happened there. Don't fall. Hit the things. Get everyone else over here. Climb up. Hit the things again. Get him, get him, get him. I don't know if it has something to do with, like, that button that we accidentally pressed. Like, maybe pressing that button too early somehow made us lose the mission. Okay, we killed everyone. Stay off this button, I guess? We good? No, it restarted us again. What is going on, dude? We killed all the guys that were shooting at the gingerbread man. I guess maybe we're not hitting the button early enough. Last time we died like right after we hit the button, so I started avoiding it entirely, but maybe that was the wrong move. 
will quickly kill everyone. And then we'll hit the button right away and hope for the best there. You know it'd be really helpful? I put down the bridge. If you guys would come up here and maybe you can... <laughs> Nate wants to duel me for a thousand points. Ten thousand points. I mean, hold on. I'll duel you for ten thousand points. It's been a while since I've accepted a duel. Okay. hit the button multiple times it doesn't seem to have done anything do we need to shoot the gingerbread man I'm okay the gingerbread man's all the way over here now I don't know what we did to make it work this time, but it seems to have worked. So let's go, dude. Please give me checkpoint. <laughs> or I'll just murder you. There once was an ogre with a wish who had all the grace of a fish. His motley crew. Of course you won the duel. Oh wait, yeah. I I think I've lost every duel I've been in. <laughs> Get fuck leprechaun, bro. Okay, hint, bro. What are we doing? Oh, you gave him right back? Whatever Thanks, the man. Be, the big guy will strike. So toss cookies wherever you like. Okay, 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 okay. Can we... We probably can't cross these lines, huh? So then... If we toss a cookie here... Nice. Hopefully that means he can't hurt us. <laughs> what is he throwing? Oh, he's throwing gumdrops, isn't he? You ten times them right back? Oh, you gave me a hundred thousand? Damn, dude. Well, thanks, bro. Why can't I move forward? There we go. Get fucked, guys. In the name of the prince, what? You ain't gonna do shit. Against my giant gumdrop throwing bro here. It's the least you can do. I mean, you're only at, what, like... A hundred billion... Coins or something like that? I can't even read that number, like... It's too large for me to just to land that and know what the hell it is. I'd have to sit there and count out the <laughs> number of digits. It's ridiculous. Um... Maybe kill those guys over there that are, like, shooting at us. GG. And these ones? Murder them? Do some thank you. Uh, murder them? Please and thank you. There you go. Now you're getting the idea. Maybe they're not in chat. We might have to be in chat to get points. I don't know how that works. Oh, God. We're actually dying. Uh. Oh, no. The gingerbread man died. 
That's really bad. We need him to throw cookies. Um... I don't know... Okay, good. He came back to life. I was like, I don't know if there's anything we can do at this point, man. Without the gingerbread man, we're kind of, uh... We're kind of stuck. There you go, dude. Can we break these things? We can. We'll just break them. Probably faster than waiting for, for him to come over here. And do it. GG, another checkpoint. A princess in distress, an army of balloons, and a giant cookie man allergic to milk? It's gotta be hero God, time. Not another fucking hero time, man. <laughs> I'm hero so tired time. of hero time. Okay, so what are we what are we doing? Okay, so we're shooting water, but at what? Oh. Okay, balloons. Fire balloons. Oh god, they're everywhere. How did I not see any of them before? <laughs> okay. I'm assuming we just don't want them to hit the gingerbread man. The the giant gingerbread man. That would probably be bad. Now, if he does catch on fire, I wonder if, like, we can put him out? Oh, it's fine. We only got 12 seconds left. We got this. We Gucci. I don't remember where it was, but I remember seeing a reply to that. If someone asks if you're Gucci, and be like, I'm goodwill at best. <laughs> you're not having a good day. And that made me laugh way harder than I had any right to when I first saw it. Hey, okay. Final fucking level, dude. Let's go. It's a tiny bit early for a break, but I have no idea how long we're going to be on this last section. So I think we're going to go ahead and take our last break of the night. Uh, plus, I kind of got a pee, so it's a good time to go do that. And then when we come back, we're going to finish up this game and then roll to see what the next game is. If it's Metal Gear Solid, I don't think Metal Gear Solid has a super long intro. But we're going to boot it up and start it, like, get to the first point where we can save uh, at the very least. Just so whenever we do actually play the game, we don't get stuck doing that forever. If it's a different game, uh, we'll probably wait until next week and then start up next week. Yes, yes, yes. I will be able to play next week. For anyone who doesn't know, by the way, I am going on vacation here in, like, two weeks. Uh, I plan on streaming most of the time I'm on vacation, but there are going to be a few days that I'm going to take off because I'm uh, I'm going away for a little bit. I, I need some time away from everything. <laughs> I am tired, boy. But all right. Got to vote for Jack one. Yes, that'd be another fun one to complete for sure. I've been wanting to replay that game for a while, so I'm down for that. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'm going to go pee and uh, we're going to run our last break of the night and then we'll BRB. I'd love to do, like, ATV racing or something in real life, man. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Although, first jump I hit, I'd probably get scared shitless. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> you got a surprising amount of traction on these, these dirt... Tracks? Roads? Whatever you want to call it. I kind of <laughs> kind of wish I could just like reach over and kick the dudes. What was that game? Off Road Fury. I think that was it. Where you could you were like racing down a, a road or whatever, and you could use chains and fists and crap like that to to smack people off their bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, going a little bit better this time. You really need to land cleanly to hold as much momentum as possible and to keep getting that acceleration. Man, my thumb is hurting, though, because I'm just, like, jamming down on the button. Yeah, I don't know if that's even necessary on this game or not, but I feel like it probably is, and I'm scared to let up. It 
something a lot of people didn't know or just forgot about the PS2 was the fact that it even had the analog face buttons. So, you know, there's that trope of, like, people pressing buttons harder or whatever. Like, it'll make a difference. Like, it's just the, the, like, where you, the same sort of thing, like, with people leaning into turns on, on racing games and stuff like that, you know, just a way to poke fun at people, kind of. Well, at least on the PS2 and I believe the PS3, that was actually a real thing. <laughs> like, the, the, the pressing your buttons harder to, to go faster or some games would have you do, like, power moves or something if you would press the game, the X button, square button, or whatever harder. Yeah, it had uh, 256 different uh, pressure levels that it could detect. It's crazy. They took it out of the newer controllers. I, I believe the PS4 is when they started taking it out. Uh, mostly because there weren't that many games that were using the feature, as well as, I imagine, with all the other tech that they were putting into it, it was probably also just a way to, like, save some cost. Because by then, they started doing the motion controls, and... Ah, no, come on. We were doing so good. Yeah, they threw in, like, the motion controls, the lights, all that other BS, so I imagine... Ah, I thought maybe we could go through it. That was a bad choice. I shouldn't have done that. What, what place were we? We're in fourth place now? Holy crap. So maybe for the jumps, it would actually be smarter to kind of let up a little bit? No. I don't know. Man. Come on. Come on, baby. Pick up the pace. Let's go. My thumb is killing me. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna press it so hard. I'm gonna start pressing it more gently. Hopefully, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're off track. Shit. Is there a restart race? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to restart that one. There's no way we were winning after all that. So, more of the story. Don't try to go off track. Didn't do us any favors. I feel like you probably. All right. All right. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Let's. Play this final fucking mission, shall we? Also, there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, Nate. Um, if you meant to vote on Jack a third time there, it didn't go through, my guy. I see the uh, message in the chat box, but it didn't fun. actually, like, put a vote well, through. Things were about to get ugly. If Shrek and Fiona didn't kiss before midnight, they would be transformed back into ogre form. But what do you know? Those crazy kids decided to go for the ugly. Love can make you do some pretty strange things. <laughs> if you don't like awkward kissing scenes, then turn your head. Hear that, kids? Get ready to turn your heads. Let's go. <laughs> um, also, Nate, are you going to be okay for D&D &D tonight? Because it sounds like you need to get some rest, my guy. So if you need to take the night off, just let me know, man. Or let us know. And you are truly handsome, Shrek. Nah. Oh, no! Why? 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 Um, I think my carriage is double parked. You're not going anywhere, you incompetent little toad. <laughs> hey, toots! You can't doubt my father like that! I will never marry your son! Looks like we got our happily ever after without your help. Uh, this doesn't look good. Can we... <laughs> okay, what are we actually trying to do here? We have a bunch of TNT barrels. Puss can climb some ropes for some reason. Let's go ahead and figure out what that's all about. Okay, Puss can't actually climb. Oh, there was a potion hidden up there. I can't actually see it, so it's like, it's a little confusing, but yeah, it looks like every one of those has a potion. Maybe if we use Shrek to throw some barrels, that would do a good thing. Uh, can we throw the barrels? We can. Didn't really do anything for us, though, did it? Okay, Shrek's dead. That's good. 
Uh, <laughs> this final fight's going well, man. Let's go. Okay, maybe slowing down some time. Freeze time for a moment. That'll let us kick their ass a bit, maybe. Donkey, give him a nice, a nice kick in the in the taint. Knock him down real quick. You should be. We shall see. Okay. I hope you are, man. But like I said, if you can't, I totally get it. Just let everyone know. Oh my God, these guys are fucking annoying. Maybe we should take them out with TNT barrels or something. Oh, wait. Uh, the health potion. I think that'll bring people back to life. Yes, let's go, dude. So is this just a gauntlet of the game's most annoying enemies? Like, <laughs> is that what we're doing right now? You know what? Fiona, slow down time again. If it's like 12.15 and I'm not on, assume I fell asleep. Well, if you need to go to bed, man, just go to bed. I don't think anybody will be upset by you taking the, uh, taking the night off. It's totally reasonable to want to get some sleep when you haven't slept in presumably nearly 24 hours now. Okay, how do we actually fight the fairy godmother? Oh god, these things are annoying. Over 24? Yeah, dude, get some sleep. Like, just just go to bed. Ain't nobody gonna be mad about you getting some sleep, my guy. Good job running into the fucking bomb. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> I never would have guessed fighting two of these dudes would be easier than fighting one, but... Shows you what I know. Wait, why did it get bounced to the side out of nowhere? Think you're at 32? Yeah, dude, just go to sleep. Take the night off. It'll be fine. And okay. See, it did it again. Maybe it's uh maybe it's his attack. Maybe because he attacks like a couple times, maybe it's knocking it to the side and then knocking it back over. God damn it. That one may have nicked me. There we go, finally. Whether we play DD or, or not, you're taking a bath? That's fine, love. Take a bath. Just like Nate's allowed to have some sleep, you're allowed to take a bath every now and then. <laughs> I don't think anybody will be upset by that, man. Don't want you running around here being all stinky anyways. <laughs> uh. That was just rude, dude. Why you got to kill puss like that? Oh. There we go. Is he dead? No. What? How did that not hit him, man? That was too late. That was way too late. There we go. Now we got him, dude. Let's go. Everyone back up to full health. Now can we fight the fairy godmother? Yes, it looks like a checkpoint. The only things I underestimated were trolls and elves. If you want something evil done right, you have to do it your evil self. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming stay out of the glowing orb thingies. We don't have any kind of ranged attacks. Or not orbs, but glowing circle thingies. You probably smell like rotten milk. <laughs> oh, because you were working the, the milk truck today. Is there anything we can do? It doesn't seem like it. We don't have anybody with ranged attacks. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. She's coming down. Fucking smack her. Really? You got one hit in? Okay. This boss fight might take a little while.
I think Donkey has the strongest single attack with his his triangle, his Donkey Kick. So I'm gonna use Donkey, I guess, because it seems like we can only get one hit on her whenever she comes down. And Donkey's dead. GG me. Oh, checkpoint. This for your happily ever after. What's the matter? Not a troll fan. God damn it. How did that not hit any of them? Oh god. Too many bombs. <laughs> Too many bombs. <laughs> there we go. There's one. Chase us down. Go ahead. Chase us down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, <I can't>. <laughs> They're <laughs> all just running into their own bombs and shit now. Oh, We're dead. Everyone's dead. <laughs> I hope that was a checkpoint. It wasn't. We had to do it from the beginning. Oh, no. Get fucked, dude. That sucks. And I can't even escape. You haven't had an energy drink today either? My guy. I mean, that's good. That you haven't had an energy drink, but dude... <laughs> Like I said, just get some get some damn sleep, guy. These guys may actually be the most annoying enemies, especially since Shrek's dead. I was hoping to be able to use the explosive barrels to deal with them, but uh, Shrek's the only one powerful enough to pick them up. If we try to attack them while they're swinging their sword, we're just asking to die. Like... So all we can really do is wait for them to fucking drop it. Their pants. <laughs> and then go after them then. We might be able to hit them in the back, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I can't actually tell if that's doing anything. Hitting them in the back. When they're sing swinging their swords, that is. Looks like one good donkey kick does them in, though. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the potion now. Get everyone back. Keep going with the donkey uh, method. That seems to be working well. If we can actually hit them, that is. Oh god, run away, run away, run away. Might as well go ahead and pick up the time freeze thing. There we go. Next stage, potion dudes. Get fucked. It's actually harder to hit things whenever there's a full group of people because they get in the damn way. You would think they would realize that, like, everyone's behind them and maybe <laughs> throw their potions the other direction or something, but nah, they just <laughs> they continue to just throw them right at the middle of the the circle here. You did do the milk truck. It was really bad today. See, I don't think the milk trucks at my grocery store get that gross, man. I could be wrong, but I don't think they do. Damn it. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I think this was a health potion, too. No, this was an invincibility potion. There we go. One hit in. Now if we just get him to run over here, we can probably... What? Why did he not chase us down after getting hit? I thought that's what they did. They get hit once and then they chase you down. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> oh, now he's doing it. I don't want both of them chasing us down. Oh, this one's not chasing us down at all. Weird. He must have, like, glitched out or something. Did that hit him? No. Oh, maybe? Maybe? Damn, dude. I thought maybe that was it.
There we go. One down. And he dropped a health potion. Too bad we can't, like, turn the camera. Two, three. Let's go. Chase us down. Yep, this one's going to come at us. We were stopped 17 of 17. Not sure how the hell they fit that many. Your half and half case and a case of iced coffee was smashed and leaking down both sides of the gallons of milk. Nice, dude. That sounds wonderful, man. <laughs> okay, can put some boots. I, I was going to try and get him to get that uh, attack power up. Not sure it would last through the cutscene and everything anyways, but... Try and leave that health, health potion on the map, but I think other characters can pick it up too, not just the ones you're controlling, which may be a problem. Because one of them may end up picking it up when I don't want them to. I want to try to leave it for as late as possible. Like when we're down to our last character or something. Okay, so after the one in the... M nope, never mind. I was going to say after the one in the middle, she should come down here, but never mind. There's a caterpillar and you don't know what to do? Pick it up and throw it outside. I mean, I know you don't like bugs, but you could just, like, grab a, uh, a paper towel or something. Pick it up with that or a piece of cardboard. Oh, God, we're dead. Oh, fuck. I can't believe we made it. Back to the other side. Okay, now she's, like, rotating them around. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do you need a ride tonight, Mr. Noodle? Or do you have a ride? Oh, damn it. Okay, so that's two. So now, yeah, I was going to say the three trolls. What's the matter? Not a troll fan. Okay, we got this, dude. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god, we're so fucked. Of course Shrek's dead. <laughs> I feel like the best thing to do is just dodge, man. There's too many bombs and things going off. Oh my god. <laughs> Donkey's dead too. Hopefully when one of the trolls die, we'll get a, uh, a health regen. Okay, Fiona's about to go. There's one. Health. Health. Thank you. Oh, God. I think two's down. Yep, two's dead. Okay, now it's just the one. Saving that health potion. Just dodge. Don't die. One, two, three. Two hits. We got this. I don't remember what's after this, though. Is this... This might be where we died last time. I don't remember. Okay. I was hoping not to have to revive everyone so early, but... Being down to one character scared me. One, two, three. Damn it. Counted a little too quickly. One, two, three. Let's go, dude. Oh, Prince. Prince Charming. Okay. So I'm assuming it's the same as like last time. We just had to wait for him to wear himself out or something. Right? Isn't that what we did? I don't actually remember. <laughs> no? Okay. Slow down time. Eat Chiara. Then just beat on him as much as we can. Grab Puss. Puss has good damage output. Uh, slow down time again. That was going really well for us. Okay, hopefully the next couple stages of the Fairy Godmother goes quicker. Oh, wait, can we leave the circle? I thought we were stuck in the circle, my guy. Well, that would have made things a lot easier when we were fighting the trolls. Should have won the next two nights, though. Awesome, dude. Yeah, it's about time we kick this door to the curb or to the tree, whatever. That's it. I'm 
I'm sending you straight to the glue factory. Oh, that's not very nice, dude. Who are we? We're puss, okay. Okay, one. Just one? Oh, it's like chasing us down. That's new. How do we dodge that? I don't actually know how to get around that one. No, dude. Okay, okay. One more. One more wave. Uh, I'm actually going to grab someone that's not Puss, because it seems like whenever she throws out that little ball thing that chases us down, it seems like it uh, it focuses on whoever we're controlling. And I'd rather Puss stay alive for his damage output. What's going on now? Did the game glitch out? Hello? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. Shrek's dead. That's fine. Come on. Come on, just come down. Yes, let's go. Okay, puss. It's your time to shine, my guy. Yes, let's go. That it? Is that fucking it? What do you know? I can be beaten. Let's go, dude. Another game down. No first thing in world go round. Wreck two complete. Well, Shrek and Fiona got their happily ever after after all. Now put down the controller and go outside to play. We're done. Really? Uh, it's over. That is all, folks. <laughs> I mean, it's like 8.30 at night almost. I don't know if it's really a good time to go outside and play, but I mean, you the boss, I guess. Well, anyways, as we usually do, I'm going to go ahead and let the credits play out because, of course, even when it's not the best game in the world, all these people do deserve the recognition for, for creating this experience that we were able to play. So, you know, claps for them. Good job, guys. You made a product and released it. Uh, <laughs> it was decent compared to other games of, of you know, similar games like uh, Nicktoons Unite. And I feel like there was another similar one that we played that was pretty poor. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Yep, nope. But compared to Nicktoons Unite, <laughs> for sure, this one is much better. Much, much better, dude. Is that dude's nickname Nomi? I like how they have little portraits for everyone. That's pretty cool. I couldn't imagine them doing that with a game made like these days. Like, think if uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, whenever that comes out, decided to do something like this, you know? Like, have a little animated portrait for every person that worked on the game. I don't know exactly how large their teams are, but they're big, man. Like... How many people worked on GTA 5? Over 6,000 people <laughs> worked to make Grand Theft Auto 5, according to uh, Weak Town. <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> they say 6,000. Destructoid said more than 1,000. So I don't know, but regardless of which one it is, I feel like uh, Destructoid, GameSpot, etc. is probably a little bit more of a uh, reliable source, but regardless, whether it's a thousand or six thousand, having an animated portrait for every single one, oh boy. Okay, now they're switching to the more standard style of credits. There we go. Those must have just been like the leads or something. I wasn't paying attention to their titles. Got your publicist, Lisa Fields. Good job on uh, publicizing this, I guess. I don't think I've ever seen a commercial for it or anything, but it also came out, what, 15 years ago or something, so. 
<laughs> Even if I had, I probably wouldn't remember at this point. DreamWorks, shout out to DreamWorks. Brain Zoo Studios, what the f That was Brain Zoo Studio. Brain Zoo Studios. Other oh, key animation and 3D animation studio. Huh. Okay, so they probably did some of like the animations for the movie, maybe the game as well or something. Oh, they worked on Wasteland 3? Oh, so they're like a video game animation thing. They did some for Mortal Kombat, Guardians of the Galaxy game, Planet Side, Lego. Okay. So they've done some pretty big things, man. Mask of Mayhem, Borderlands 3. Surprised I've never heard of them before. Marvel Ultimate Spider-Man. That game's a little old at this point, ain't it? Maybe they're just really proud of that one. Pepe and Lucas? I have no idea what that is, but it looks pretty. The clown looks a little freaky, though. Tales from the Borderlands, a Telltale game. Man, I miss Telltale games. I think they have a new project coming out, but... I actually really enjoyed, uh... Those style of point-and-click adventures. Because, like, the classic point-and-click adventures never really did a whole lot for me. But the Telltale ones, they were actually really fun. I enjoyed those. But anyways, now that that game's done, I'm going to go ahead and save it, I suppose. I don't see us ever coming back to it, but might as well. And then let me get the screen pulled up here. Make sure that the right thing is selected and everything's showing properly. Looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and transition on over. Let's roll the next game that we'll be completing on Wednesdays, dude. Uh, first, though, let's get our votes in. Is there anything, any votes for non-completion games? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's go to games to complete. Let's see what all we got votes for. This is the list, by the way, for anyone who uh, hasn't seen it before. You can vote on any of the games in green or red. Those are the ones we'll be rolling on right now. The ones in red, though, have zero votes, so they don't have any chance of going. The ones in gray I want to do eventually, but aren't currently being rolled on is how that works. Uh, let's go ahead and get the votes in, though. We got, I think, one more for Dark Cloud, it looks like. Let's go ahead and throw Dark Cloud up by one. Dark Cloud, up to 26 votes. That one's getting up there, dude. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Is that on my list yet? It is. Right here, 35. Oh yeah, no, we completed Metal Gear Solid 1, the first one already. That was the PlayStation 1 one. I'm a dumbass. And then two votes for Jack 1. Let's go, dude. Jack and Daxter, Precursor Legacy. Two votes for that, taking it up to 21. Okay, so we got 13 votes for Bully, 26 for Dark Cloud, 14 for God of War, the original, 21 for Jack and Dax Precursor Legacy, 20 for Kingdom Hearts, and 35 for Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm going to go ahead and roll. The first one never counts. We do that as an example. So whichever one it rolls on isn't the one we'll be playing we'll roll again in just a moment it is random so it doesn't really matter what it picks could pick the same number twice doesn't happen very often but it could so 41 so in this case since it picked 41 it would have been god of war 2005 is what we would have played it goes ahead and highlights it in gold for us to make it super easy to find let's go ahead and roll one more time so we're going to unclick that it'll go back to default and then wait some random period of time because I imagine RNG, the, the random number generator in Google uh, Sheets here, probably uses some sort of uh, time-based thing. So we'll just wait some number of seconds and click it again. Let's see what we get, dude. Drum roll, please. As soon as it fucking loads, we'll have it. 127. There we go. Metal Gear Solid 2. Not bad, man. I'm actually, I'm pretty excited for that one. Because I really enjoyed Metal Gear Solid 1. What we played in Metal Gear Solid 3 was good, although the cutscenes made it really hard to fit into a uh, short form, uh, you know, let's try sort of thing. 
So, yeah, but <laughs> still really fun experience. So that is what we're going to be playing next, man. So we'll go ahead and delete that from the list here. Delete that. Uh, delete that as well. Get rid of the vote there. And Metal Gear Solid 2. Let's go, dude. I think I, think I already cleared off all the boats for that sort of stuff. Metal Gear Solid 2, yeah. I don't think it had a super long cutscene, because originally, like I said, I was planning for this Metal Gear Solid 2 to go ahead and start it up tonight so we could get, like, the cutscene done and over with, but I don't think that's going to be necessary, because I don't think that one has a super long intro cutscene, because we did try it out already. For one and for two, it's already a little bit later than I thought it would be. I didn't think the final fight was going to take quite as long as it did. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for tonight, guys. Next week on... Wednesday, we'll be playing Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm going to go ahead and update my schedule now. Because if I don't, I will forget. Schedule. Edit. Stream plays number 10. And that is Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty. Need to update the actual game itself as well. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Select and save changes. There we go, dude. All right. That is it for me tonight. Tomorrow night on Thursday night, uh, starting around 11 30, 12 o'clock, we'll be playing something on the PS2 list. One of these games down here highlighted in green. Don't know which one yet because we always roll before the stream starts. But whatever it is, it should be fun. I hope you guys had a pretty decent time. I had a decent time with Shrek 2, even if it was frustrating as hell. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. As always, be kind to each other. And bye-bye, y'all. I won't forget you, Noodle. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. and make it it's just tight it's not worth screwing it up I'm, it's not like I'm going